So far, I hope you understood from the SOF video that the SOF converts out of tachyon the exact frequencies needed to maintain perfect balance of the form and its subform. Now, a SOF is naturally energized in two ways. First, there is the metabolizing of high SOF foods. What are high SOF foods? Well, example, organic uncooked foods have a higher SOF value than cooked foods. Pure spring water has a higher SOF value compared to chlorinated water. Pure air has a higher SOF value compared to, complete, compared to polluted air. The second way to feed your SOFs is by the natural converting of tachyon into the exact frequencies for the SOF structure or substructure. This is the natural occurrence as long as there hasn't been any conscious blocks set up to help you evolve. As a side note, in the Holistic Wellness series, we teach how to restore energetic balance by charging the SOFs as well as how to assist clearing the emotional blocks. So, only consciousness blocks us from being in the natural flow, and only tachyons and high energy so food energizes SOFs. So one thought that may come to mind is, with so many successful stories that demonstrate the frequency therapies have effect, how does frequency healing work? Well, basically, there are hundreds of different frequency ther uh, therapies, and each one functions at a different frequency level as well as different intensity. Some products uh, produce a single frequency, while others produce various frequencies. But one thing is clear. A frequency can deplete or destroy a soul. Let's um, take the liver as an example. A liver is a combination of frequencies, and in order to treat it with a set of frequencies, the frequency therapist must know the exact frequencies of the client's liver. Some major areas of concern are the fact that the frequencies of the liver are not the same as the frequencies of the kidneys or the colon or any other organ or gland. And therefore, duration and intensity of the frequencies also becomes a very serious concern. Let me give you a simple example of how frequencies can affect SOFs. Let's look at the sun as an example. The sun produces photon energy. Now, photon energy can and is beneficial to all life forms on the planet. Duration and intensity are the major concerns that all systems have in common. 20 minutes a day under a warm tropical sun and you might get a nice warm tan or glow. However, put you in two hours underneath the same hot tropical sun could burn you like a french fry. You see, this is one of the major problems with frequencies. Not only is it imperative that the frequency healer apply the correct frequency, but clearly duration is one of the key consideration in not depleting or killing the SOFs. 20 minutes in your skin, SOFs react to the sun's ultraviolet radiation by produ producing melanin, melanin into the skin cell. Do you understand? Now, this is your body's way of trying to protect you from the solar radiation. Now, two hours and you're burnt like a french fry. So, overexposure normally leads to the depletion or destruction of the SOFs. The sun is a frequency. Frequencies have no intelligence. They do not know when to start or stop affecting you. So, how does frequency healing work? Well, I'll tell you. To understand it, we must first look at how healing and disease works. Um, I want to introduce you to the term bifurcation, which has evolved from the second law of thermodynamics. It's very helpful here. Uh, a simple example of a bifurcation is a piece of wood in a fire. We all know that eventually the wood will have a pop, which is the bifurcation. And in this case, the soaps of the wood can no longer hold the form. 
and the form breaks down to smaller pieces of wood. This is the aging process in action. A bifurcation occurs in all biological systems all the time. It occurs when a soap is overwhelmed by either a, a positive or a negative energy influence. The resulting bifurcation offers the soap of the biological systems two distinct paths. One path is toward order or healing, represented by the blue line, and the other is towards chaos or disease, which is represented by the red line. Now, the energy of an organ, gland, or system soap, combined with the resonant energy surrounding the affected soaps, will dictate the bifurcation direction, either towards higher levels, levels of order and balance, healing, or towards higher levels of dis-ease and chaos, aging. One direction, and you are youthing, the other direction, and you are aging. Now, let us look at how we go from healthy to sick and back to healthy. Let us presume in this example that the little boy was in great health, no major blocks. Let's just say he got a big dose of the current uh, flu virus, okay? Now the little boy's affected system will begin to bifurcate towards chaos as shown here in red. Now, I'm only showing a couple of bifurcations for ease of explanation. In real life, there would be maybe hundreds or even thousands of bifurcations in the course of an illness. The spiral towards chaos will continue until his immune system kicks in and then the bifurcations would change its direction and begin to move towards balance. This direction change is represented by this blue line and balance would inevitably be restored. So he went down and came up. Of course, we are talking about a system which has no blocks. A system that starts out at a lower level of health or has significant blocks in the energetic continuum can take a much longer time to come back to a state of balance. This is the key to understanding the healing and disease process. It is important to understand that all soaps bifurcate. Bifurcations are the point in time when a soap is either gaining or losing energy. It is when you move towards regeneration or degeneration, aging or youthing. The key to frequency healing is for the therapist to have the appropriate frequency present in the proper location with the correct intensity when the SOF begins to bifurcate. When the bifurcation happens, the SOF, rather than bifurcate to a lower level of order, can attune itself to the frequency around it and this can slow or stop the disease arc. By stopping the arc, the frequency therapist can slow or stop the degenerating spiral. Now, the frequency therapist or individual then has the opportunity to clear the emotional or mental blocks in the energetic continuum, restoring the natural flow of tachyons to the depleted soaps. And maybe at the same time the person is clever and starts feeding the depleted bifurcating soaps with high soap diet. Most of us have heard or know of stories where miraculous things have happened during frequency therapies. I myself was once a frequency therapist. Even so, the facts remain. Frequencies can destroy or deplete a soap, and frequencies have no intelligence. These facts require a frequency therapist to really understand exactly what frequencies their tools emit. To know the exact set of frequencies needed by the organ gland or system they are working on, and to clearly understand that the frequencies needed by the liver are not the same as the frequencies needed by the kidneys or the heart or any other organ or gland or system for that matter. And finally, the therapist needs to know the exact duration needed to avoid over depleting or killing the soaps of nearby organs, glands or systems. 
chemotherapy or radiation therapies are extreme examples of frequency therapies that deplete and destroy not only the targeted SOFs, but the healthy SOFs of the system as well. Now, tachyon is totally different. Tachyon solves all of the problems of the frequency approach. You do not need to know what frequency you're dealing with because the SOFs know exactly what frequencies they need. It is consciousness. The SOFs are a bit of consciousness. It knows what form it is holding in place. That is why a liver does not become a pancreas. The liver knows it is your liver, part of your whole system. And you don't need to know duration because when the SOF reaches balance, they simply stop converting tachyons. That's it. And because the SOFs are the intelligence that knows what form it holds together, it also knows what frequencies to convert from tachyon. This means that all SOFs of the surrounding organs, glands, and systems are directly benefited from the tachyon therapy. This creates whole system balance. So you see, tachyon therapies solve all the problems found in frequency therapists and therapies, creating a new paradigm in holistic healing. Tachyon is safe for everyone. All biological systems have a SOF. Once the SOF is disconnected from the source, as you see with this tomato, it begins to age quickly due to a lack of tachyon interactions. Now, if we place an ultra disc under its brother of the vine, its brother has access to tachyon and therefore ages very slowly. I don't know about you, but I like the idea of aging very slowly. See you later.